Okay, welcome back. So in this section, let's talk about anxiety. So there you are, you've set yourself your goal, and you know what you need to do to move towards your goal. But there's that little fear of what if it goes wrong that's holding you back. Have you ever felt that? Lao Tzu said, if you're depressed, you're living in the past. If you're anxious, you're living in the future. If you are at peace, you are living in the present. You see, anxiety is simply a fear of the future. Anxiety is a fear of something that has yet to happen. Or more correctly, what you fear may happen. I come across a lot of people who say that they get anxious when they need to make a presentation or stand up in front of a crowd. Some say they get anxious when they need to speak to somebody of the opposite sex. Anxiety can vary in degrees and severity. It depends on how much life you actually give it. Light anxiety is uncomfortable, while severe anxiety can be debilitating to some people. Some would say that a little anxiety can even help to get you motivated and get going. Well, personally, I would get rid of procrastination and motivate myself in a different way. Now, many people say that they would love to take action towards their goals, but they get anxious and they've got these things that, that block them and stop them from doing what they know that they should be doing. So how can you get rid of anxiety? Well, firstly, ask yourself, what specifically am I anxious about? You see, most people are anxious about everything. They worry about a number of different things at the same time. Or they focus so much on one thing that it overwhelms them. They focus on all the ways that it could go wrong instead of actually going the way that they would like it to go. So secondly, work on one problem at a time. Instead of all the different things that you worry about, just work on one. Remember though, if you focus so much on that one thing that it causes you anxiety, stop it. Have you ever heard your grandparents say that they were going to go sleep on the problem? You see, often when we just stop worrying about that certain thing, it's as if an answer magically appears. Now I agree there are some things like going bankrupt and losing your house that's not magically going to come right just by sleeping on it. However, you can start to focus on what the next steps would be towards recovery. Then thirdly, once you've isolated each thing that you thought you were anxious about, work on them one by one in the following manner. So I want you to imagine that task or that thing that used to make you anxious. This thing that you know you you were concerned about in the future. Now imagine having already successfully completed it the way that you would have wanted it to play out. So if it was a presentation that you had to do in a week's time, imagine that it was a week later after you've done the presentation and imagine that it has successfully completed exactly the way that you wanted. Now once you've done that, ask yourself, where's the anxiety? And the anxiety, of course, will be gone. If it's not 100% gone, then you've not imagined it completing successfully. This is a very, very easy technique to get rid of some fear in the future or some anxieties. And it's something that you can do very quickly. In fact, I use this when I work with clients with depression. And it's something they can do literally within 15 seconds. Now I'm going to teach you a number of other techniques during the live training of how to actually get rid of the underlying fear, which will actually help you to get rid of all anxiety in the future and get rid of all the other negative emotions that are surrounding that as well. So that's dealing with anxiety. And in the next section, what we'll talk about is just how to go ahead and choose the right NLP training provider for you.